Welcome to the State College of Florida's Golf Cart Safety Program. Upon completion of the program, you will be more familiar with proper safety procedures and practices as outlined in the following sections. Purpose, Fundamentals of Operation, General Guidelines, Operational Procedures, Operators' Responsibilities, Pre-Operation Inspection, Facilities Management Responsibilities, Department Responsibilities, Operator Training and Certification. Golf carts have become incredibly popular and their use has branched out beyond golf courses into businesses, airports, and schools. The State College of Florida is no exception. In recent years, golf carts have become a familiar sight on SCF campuses with more than 50 carts in use today. But before we review the program, what is a golf cart or LSV? A golf cart is defined as any motor vehicle that is not capable of exceeding 20 miles per hour and is not used primarily for transportation on a street or highway. Golf carts are lightweight and are not considered a stable utility vehicle. Golf carts are used to travel short distances at top speeds of 15 miles per hour. Currently, the majority of carts on SCF campuses fit the definition of a golf cart. SCF also has a few LSVs. They are defined as any motor vehicle whose top speed is not greater than 25 miles per hour. They must be equipped with roadway safety features and driven only on roadways where the posted speed limit is 35 miles per hour or less. In 1998, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reclassified small passenger carrying vehicles as low speed vehicles, making them subject to Federal Motor Safety Standard 500. Standard 500 was created to ensure that low speed vehicles that are operated on public streets and roadways are outfitted with equipment for motor vehicle safety. They must also adhere to posted speed limits. In addition, golf carts and LSVs that are being operated in Florida on roadways are governed by Florida Statute 316-212. However, most of the golf carts being operated on SCF campuses are considered non-standard 500 vehicles. Non-standard 500 golf carts have limited safety features, must be four-wheeled, must have all original safety features in good working order, are prohibited from operating on public roadways. The purpose. The golf cart safety program provides specific standards to ensure the safety of all on SCF campuses. Golf carts are involved in accidents on college campuses nationwide each year. These accidents result in property damage, injury, and death. Generally, golf carts do not require special training or a license to be operated, leaving all those around them susceptible. To numerous types of serious accidents. At SCF, safe working practices are important and safety is everyone's responsibility. Fundamentals. This program will define the use of golf carts and who may operate them. Golf carts and LSVs are used by the college for public safety, transportation, delivering the mail, as well as where there is no access to large vehicles and facilities management operations. General Guidelines All members of the SCF community, including faculty, students, and staff, shall be governed by this policy. Drivers of golf carts, whether owned, leased, or rented, are subject to the following criteria. 
Employees may not operate golf carts until they have been fully trained and certified. All persons currently operating golf carts will have 60 days to complete the certification program. Operational Procedures There are 25 safety directives mentioned in the golf cart safety procedure. This training video will discuss a few of them. Please review the complete list. The top five categories of golf cart accidents. One, rollovers. Rollovers are caused by overloading, driving on slopes, the load is too heavy, shifting load, turning too sharply. as well as driving while distracted. Examples, using cell phones, eating, drinking, smoking, or reading, horseplay. OSHA reported seven golf cart work-related fatalities since 2010. Annually in the United States, 15,000 people visit emergency rooms for golf cart-related injuries, with an average of five that result in death. At SCF, there have been six golf cart accidents from 2010 to 2013. Two, passengers being ejected. Riding on the back or sides is not permitted. Three, collision with another vehicle. Four, golf carts colliding with pedestrians. Five, injury to persons not properly positioned in the cart. Operational procedures. Always maintain adequate distance between vehicles. Follow the preferred driving routes as directed in this procedure. These routes do not include public roadways. The routes also do not include breezeways, except under emergency operations. Do not park golf carts where they will obstruct doorways and stairways or emergency exits, or fire hydrants, fire lanes, handicap ramps, and pedestrians walkways. Observe the designated golf cart parking areas. These areas are denoted on the route maps. Be aware of areas that golf carts are not permitted to travel on. Always use caution when operating a golf cart in areas where the view is blocked. These areas are known as blind spots and can be very dangerous. Only charge golf carts in designated charging areas. These areas are located outside, as well as inside. Storage of golf carts inside of a building requires adequate ventilation, such as an exhaust fan. Do not charge near open flame or source of ignition. Only approved battery chargers should be used to recharge the batteries. See the procedure for details. Operator's Responsibilities Carefully observe cars pulling in and out of parking spaces. 
Many avoidable accidents occur in parking lots. Use best practices when parking. Operators are required to follow all FDOT roadway rules while operating a golf cart in a parking lot. This includes stop signs and speed limits. The speed limit is 15 miles per hour on all SAF campuses. According to SCF tobacco-free campus procedure, smoking is prohibited on any college property, including in any college-owned vehicle. Golf carts and LSVs are considered college-owned vehicles and are governed by this procedure. Additionally, golf carts are subject to the golf cart safety procedure regarding smoking. In case of accidents, secure the golf cart, apply the brake, call 911 for medical emergencies. All accidents despite presence of damage or injury must be reported to public safety. Along with following good safety practices, it is the operator's responsibility to secure the vehicle at all times. Leaving the keys in the golf cart, even temporarily, could lead to a theft. At SCF, there has been three thefts of golf carts in the past two years. Pre-operation inspection. Inspect each golf cart daily before use. Refer to section F for details. If the golf cart is in need of repairs or maintenance, the vehicle should be taken out of service. Each operator shall be responsible to provide timely notification of safety and maintenance concerns to facilities management. Facilities management is located in buildings 23 on the Bradenton campus and 900 on the Venice campus. Facilities Management Responsibilities Facilities Management will maintain all original equipment and safety features in good working order for non-leased golf carts. All repairs, routine maintenance, and preventative maintenance shall be performed only by authorized staff. Departmental Responsibilities Supervisors shall ensure that faculty and staff in their department have been trained and certified according to this policy. This includes student assistants who operate golf carts. Departments must provide a list of golf cart drivers to the Environmental Safety Manager who is located in the Facilities Management Department. Supervisors must take corrective action for any employee infractions of this procedure. Operator Training and Certification Copies of certifications will be sent to the trainee and their supervisor. You will need this code to complete the test, 5021957. The Environmental Safety Manager will maintain materials and records and will work with the department managers to assist in compliance with this policy.
practice safety, it is your responsibility. Golf carts at SCF are labeled with an ID number and department name. Please report any golf cart driving safety issues to the Environmental Safety Manager at 752-5450. The Golf Cart Safety Program is available at scf.edu slash administration slash procedures. Please review steps two and three before taking the test.